is nice and warm. And just uh, before they come out, um, just to give you a little heads up here, we have a f- most of them are one, a, one, a part of one family uh, that are going to be getting baptized, uh, the Saboran family. And so um, I have a, I, I've met with each one to make sure each one um, is getting baptized for the right reason, not, not because they think this water is going to wash away their sins, but they've already trusted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, and um, they want to follow him in, in an act of obedience through the waters of baptism. This tank, this water here, as uh, each person stands here, they're saying that I'm identifying my life as a follower of Christ, and then when they go into the water, uh, they're being buried with him just like Jesus Christ was buried in the grave. And then when they came back to life, they're saying, I want to walk in newness of life. It's just a picture of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and what has happened in their life. And so each one of them are going to do that. We believe in believer's baptism. So that after you become a believer in Christ, you get baptized. That's a commandment. And so um, those who are coming here to get baptized, um, many of them have wrestled with this and struggled with it. And finally, and um, they've, they're taking that step of obedience. And so I commend them for it. And and uh, I normally baptize everyone who gets baptized. You know that, right? But sometimes, if I see a dynamic that's taking place in the, in the family, for instance, if um, a son or a daughter or even a wife and is, get, is wanting to get baptized and that husband or that father was very instrumental in that person's faith, I commend them and I want them to be, to be the person that actually baptizes them. So... That's what we're going to do it today. And if you're mentoring someone and discipling them, and then they say, you know what, I need to get baptized, I even say, you know, that's a good idea. <clears throat> so we're going to have Joe's going to baptize Matt, Matthew James today, and Henry Saboran's going to ma- baptize his family. All right? So who we got first? The youngest one, right? No, they changed it? Come on out. <clears throat> Henry. Come on out here, Henry. Henry and Henry Henry. Hey, we need that there? I don't think so. Step right in there, man. You sure you want to get baptized, right? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Have a seat there. Be quiet. Because it's required by him. It's a form of obedience. You want to follow him in the waters of baptism? Yes, I do. So, Henry, he's your boy. Okay. How long are you going to hold him down? You can hold him down as long as you want. All right, cool. Everybody take a deep breath. Okay. Are you ready? I want to get baptized. Why do you want to get baptized? Because I want to um, listen to God. I want to um, do it as an act of obedience for him. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to get to heaven? Yeah. Have you trusted in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yep. I guess time for that one. Yeah. It's not going to hold me more than 10 seconds, right? No. Okay. <laughs> Buried in the waters of baptism. <laughs> They all like the Red Sox. What do you think? <laughs> Rachel, what's going on? Nothing. I'm getting baptized. You are getting baptized. Do you know why you're getting baptized? Because it says it's the Bible says so. That's a good enough answer to me, right? <laughs> the Bible says so. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to get to heaven? Yes. Have you trusted in him to be your savior? Well, based on that profession of faith, I think your dad should baptize you. 
Save the best for last. All right, we, we ran out of water, Danielle. Sorry. Danielle has got a great sense of humor. She's always teasing me, so I, maybe I should have a little. I should get her back. It's also a good thing here because both uh, Danielle and Henry want to join the church as well yes. and become members. Um, but they couldn't because she was living in disobedience. Mm. <laughs> so here she tired. is. Mm -hmm. want, you're, you're saying enough of that, right? Yes. But, and what did you say? It's called the next what? Next step. The next step. Next step. Um, now, Danielle, do you want to say anything to anybody here why you want to get baptized? Um, well, before uh, I was living. Uh, life of selfishness and living for myself and not other centered um, since being saved in 2011 I've uh, realized that I'm now other centered and it's time to make the full step of commitment to Christ you believe that Christ died on the cross for your sins I do is the only way to get to heaven yes amen amen, amen. well based now on that profession of faith I'm going to let your hubby baptize you mm. in the name of the Father Son don't enjoy too much yep. <laughs> Very like this is dead. All right. All right. You can follow her. You got wet, didn't you? All right. Good job. Be careful. All right, we got one more. We saved the worst sinner for the last. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, no. Don't get your paper wet. Oh, he put his plastic on it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he didn't get that degree yeah, for nothing. Yeah. Well, Joe, I always like to talk to, talk to Matt. So, Matt, you're here for baptism. Yes. I know you have something ready, so why don't you just tell everyone why you're being baptized? Thank you. Well, good morning. My name is Matthew James. And growing up, I called myself a Christian and went to church on Sunday. However, I was a false convert and had a distorted view of God's righteousness, sin, and who Jesus is. I sinned a lot, but I always told myself that my sins were minor compared to other people, as I was a good person and the people that I hung out with were not good people. And God would find favor in me for how good I actually was. During my senior year of college, I was invited to a Christian group on campus where I learned about God's righteousness and how high his standard is. That is when the group advisor told me to come to Jesus as I was and not try to clean myself up first. I never heard someone put Jesus into those terms before. It frustrated me and drew my attention. I thought I was a good person and started to be conflicted become conflicted by the things I was learning while studying the Bible. I kept trying to clean myself up though, thinking that I was still good enough to do it on my own. I wasn't. One night I broke down. I felt so torn with all the sin I was involved with. I didn't know how to handle it. I've heard the gospel before, but it wasn't making sense to me. In tears, I called my friend to meet me in my dorm. He showed me in the Bible how righteous God is and that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory in God, and that the payment for sin is eternal hell, as God hates sin. In, uh, but despite the fact that we sin against him, God loved us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to enter into human history. He lived a perfect, sinless life, shed his blood on the cross, and died, was buried, and rose again three days later, that whoever repents and put their trust in Christ as propitiation for us will not only be forgiven, but righteous. I prayed for forgiveness, not on how good I am, but on how good Jesus is. I pray that if you are trusting in your good works to find favor in God as I once was, that you would put your faith in Christ alone for what he has done. 
And it is with that that I wish to be baptized in front of all of you today. Amen. Well, my brother Matthew, based on this testimony, I baptize you in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In newness of life. Welcome to the family of God. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Well, that's the end of the baptisms, but we do this every once in a while. If God has spoken to your heart and you're saying, you know what, uh, I'm living in disobedience. I've not gotten baptized because I don't know what the excuse is. Don't give that excuse anymore. Be obedient to the Lord and just come and contact me and we'll one Sunday we'll baptize you as well. Amen. Let me have a word of prayer for these and then Pete's going to come up and give a few announcements and my son Justin is going to the Philippines, and uh, he wants to just give a little uh, spiel about that. He has to start raising support. I'm going to have him come up after the announcements. All right? Father, thank you so much for the gift of eternal life. Thank you for these here uh, followers of Christ who have uh, demonstrated through obedience and being baptized in front of all these people that they want to follow Christ and be obedient. I pray you would guide them, protect them, provide for all their needs. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I guess other people have been baptized. I don't think that's the most people have ever had baptized on Sunday. Well, Five, there's one. Huh? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Very quick on the announcements, because 